Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Prithyusha's Knowledge Hub. I'm your Dr. Prithyusha. Nowadays, we are hearing frequently about the self-paced learning, either in NPTEL or any other online courses. So, now let's see in today's video, what is the self-paced learning in NPTEL? How is it different from instructor-paced learning? Okay, so before starting our video today, there is a small announcement. Many people are seeing my videos, but you are not subscribing to my channel. So please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates of my videos. And don't forget to share with your friends. So let's start our session today. So this is a link uh, in order to get into the self-paced learning. Okay, so self-paced learning is different from NPTEL. So as you see, as you get into the link, you can see that uh, it is related to the NP NPTEL Plus. Okay, so NPTEL is different from NPTEL Plus. So in the NPTEL Plus, it is related to the self-paced learning. So let's see what is a self-paced learning. So self-paced learning is a style of instruction in which learners progress through the material at the own speed and on their own schedule. Okay, so self-paced learning. What is the self-paced learning means online courses refers to the educational programs which can be completed at the student's own pace and the schedule. So here the student can complete uh, uh, whenever he whenever he is uh, uh, having some availability. Uh, so no need to wait for the weekend assignments or no need to wait for the weekend uh, videos. Now he can uh, complete his course uh, whenever uh, he is having the time. So that is the main motto of the self-paced learning. So what here, as you can see, self-paced learning means you can learn in your own time and schedule. So you don't need to complete the same assignment or learn at the same time as other students are doing. Okay, so this self-paced learning is completely different from the NPTEL, normal NPTEL, which we are calling as the instructor-paced learning. Okay, so in this self-paced learning, you can proceed from one topic or a segment to the next at your own speed. Okay, so based on your speed, you can uh, go on. So you, you don't need to wait for the weekend uh, videos or weekend assignments. So after completion of that uh, videos, you can write the assignments. So here the list will be getting, uh, after you have been enrolled for the course, you will be getting a 12 weeks course in the one uh, window. Uh, in this 12 weeks course, you can check the videos, uh, 12 weeks videos uh, as of your having your time. And you can write the 12 weeks assignment uh, when you're having the time. No, there is no any due date uh, in order to submit the assignments. So this is the main motto of the self-paced learning. So coming to the NPTEL courses in self-paced learning. So once a learner joins this course, they may watch the video, uh, video lectures and complete assignments as per their convenience. So learners may also choose to write the remote protected online exam from the comfort of their homes and also earn the certificate. Okay. So coming to next year. Here we want to mainly, uh, mainly it is required to know the difference between the self-paced learning and instructor-paced learning. So coming to the difference between the self-paced and instructor-paced learning. So this, uh, this instructor-paced learning is related to NPTEL. So this is related to NPTEL at present uh, all the students and faculty are doing or industry persons are doing. And this one is related to the NPTEL. This one is related to the NPTEL+. Plus. Okay, so this one is related to the NPTEL plus. So self-paced learning is related to the NPTEL plus and instructor-paced learning is related to the NPTEL. So in this instructor-paced learning, so let's see the uh, content availability. So in the instructor-paced learning, that is NPTEL, which we have discussed before. So uh, coming to this, here uh, in this uh, NPTEL um, instructor-paced learning, you will be having the content, uh, uh, they will be releasing the content periodically. That is, uh, every week you will be getting the content. So, in that particular week, you will see that content uh, and uh, you will be um, and uh, you will be writing the assignments in the due date. Before the due date, you will be submitting the assignments. Whereas, coming to the self-paced learning, you will uh, content, uh, full content will be available in that particular course and you can write the assignment uh, in whatever time you are having. So there is no restriction that you need to you need to submit the assignment before the due date. So no restrictions are in the self-paced learning. Coming to the due dates on the assessment, uh, assessment, it is a fixed due date. You are having the fixed due date for this instructor-paced learning that is for NPTEL. Whereas coming to the self-paced learning, there is a no fixed uh, due date. Uh, according to your flexible, you can submit your assignment. So coming to the certificates available. 
so here in the NPTEL course uh, after completion of the course after the evaluation it may take around uh, one week to 10 days in order to get the uh, result and get your certificate whereas coming to the self-paced course uh, as soon as you submitted the assignment uh, uh, within uh, minutes you will be getting a certificate okay so coming to the courses here in the instruction paced courses here you will be having either you can enroll for the four weeks course eight weeks course or 12 weeks course so coming to the self-paced uh, self paced also you will be having the four weeks eight weeks and 12 weeks course but the only difference is in the instruction paced learning you uh, in order to complete the 12 weeks course you need to wait uh, around 12 weeks and after the completion of the 12 weeks course you need to write the assignment uh, i mean a class uh, you need to write the end exam and uh, then you need to uh, wait for the certificate whereas coming to the self-paced course uh, here also they are running four weeks eight weeks and 12 weeks courses but uh, as by your convenience if your uh, 12 weeks course has been completed within uh, 15 days then you can automatically go for the uh, you can submit your assignments and you can write your exam from your own place that is from your home to you can write the nptl exam uh, and you can uh, get the certificate easily so that is about the self-paced and instructor paced learning so what are the supporting institutes so as we discussed before in the nptl also these are people only supported the nptl so which means that these people are uh, giving some content uh, regarding the nptl and whichever the content we are following we are getting the certificate from that uh, uh, or from that institute so here here as you can see the same people are um, uh, providing the content uh, that is a uh, videos uh, lectures for the nptl plus 2 that is a self paced uh, assessment so coming to the next so when you open this link uh, when you click on this link uh, you will be getting the uh, link like this uh, you will be getting the window like this as you can see here you are having the nptl plus so this is related to the nptl plus which is a self paced learning okay uh, so coming to here as you can see you are having some course list um, uh, in this and you should uh, enroll with your gmail and uh, gmail id and password as you have done before for the nptl and uh, based on the course you are interested you can select the course okay so after here you can see some of the courses related to the machine learning i have browsed some courses related to the machine learning as per my uh, interest i'll be selecting the course and i will be i will be doing the course in that particular subject and uh, after completion of the course or after completion of that particular week um, uh, or a particular particular week videos i will be submitting the assignments um, and after completion of the course i will be submitting the end exam okay so coming to the course i have opened one of the course like introduction to machine learning so as you can see the enrollment here for this self paced course you are going to have the enrollment fee uh, whereas coming to the normal nptel you don't have any en enrollment fee so coming to the self paced course you are having the en enrollment fee based on the weeks you have decided if it is a, a four weeks course you will be having like 1000 as a enrollment fee if it is a eight weeks course it may, it may be for a 2000 uh, as a enrollment fee and if it is a 12 weeks course it may be for 3000 as a enrollment fee including the gst okay so please are not including the gst this is the enrollment fee okay so so coming to this as you can see this here for this introduction to machine learning this is a 12 weeks course so it, they have been charged to 3000 in order to have some um, to enroll the course you need to pay 3000 and enroll the course okay and this course is sponsored by iit madras so coming to the next here this is this is a person who is going to teach the course for us and uh, as you can see here you are having some description re regarding the course additional information regarding the course and certification process what is the process in order to get the self paced certificate you will be having some instructions next you are going to have the course details 12 weeks course details you are going to have and next what are the reviews as you can see additional information in the sense in the additional information who is the supporting institute who is going uh, from which institute this is getting uh, they are sponsoring this uh, particular course means uh, from iit madras and total number of hours you, you should complete is 30 hours okay and coming to the course details these are the course detail, uh, details related to the machine learning which i have been selected since it is a 12 weeks course they have given the content for the 12 weeks course and these 12 weeks course uh, in the self paced uh, uh, self paced learning will be released at a time uh, along with the assignments okay so as per your convenience you can complete your course and assignments so there will be no due date for in order to complete or submit the assignment in the self paced course, self paced learning okay so coming to the certification process so what is the certification process as you can see here the 
लर्नर्स में पे दी एप्लीकेबल फी एंड एनरोल टू एनरोल दी कोर्स ऑन व्हिच इज ऑफर्ड इन दी पोर्टल सो वैलिडेशन हाउ मच टाइम दिस कोर्स विल बी वैलिड विल बी शोन इन दी पोर्टल and uh, learners should complete the assi assignments uh, uh, and uh, end exam also in order to get the certificate so coming to the enrollment fee as we discussed before it is if it is a four weeks course it is it will be charged around 1000 rupees plus gst in order to have some enrollment if it is a eight weeks course 2000 plus gst if it is a 12 weeks course uh, 3000 plus gst so this is for self paced course if you are going for normal nptel courses means there will be no enrollment fee so you can enroll how many subjects you want you you can enroll those many subjects okay so coming to the next one is here you need to watch the videos and you need to submit the assignments so coming to the uh, submission of the assignments and what is the criteria to get the certificate means uh, uh here the criteria if it is a four weeks course uh, they will be considering best of 3 and uh, among uh, and here you need to get the assignment score as 50% so before in the nptel we have checked that the uh, that the assignment score can be for 10% so coming to the here self in the self paced course the assignment score should be 50% okay then only you will be uh, you will be getting the certificate if it is uh, lesser than 50% means you will be not getting the certificate so coming to the next one is a eight weeks course so for the eight weeks course uh, you need uh, they will be considering the best of six assignments so here also they are considering 50% of the assignment score next to coming to the 12 weeks course out of 12 weeks course they will be considering nine weeks uh, as a nine best uh, assignments uh, and they will be considering the 50% in uh, 50% of the score okay and also for the end exam end exam it is uh, related to the 100 marks and they also they also they, they are considering 50% okay uh, so coming to here uh, totally you need to get the 50% in order to get the certificate so what is the difference between the normal nptel and uh, nptel plus that is a self assessment so in the normal nptel you need to get for assignment so just let me give you a confirmation for the assignment and end exam this is for normal and uh, normal uh, course that is normal nptel course so this is for nptel course i am saying about okay so here the criteria is for the assignment you need to get 10% and for the exam you need to get greater than or equal to 30% so totally you need to get 40% to get this certificate so whereas coming to here uh, and also here another modification is for the 12 weeks they will be considering the best of 8 in the nptel but coming to here they are considering best of 9 okay so the only difference is for the assignment they have considered here for the nptel only 10% in the assignments and uh, whereas coming to here they have considered 50% in the assignments and uh, for the uh, similarly uh, for the 8 weeks and 12 weeks too and for the end exam uh, in for the nptel they have considered 30% of the uh, marks uh, that is uh, related to 75% uh, like that um, uh, so coming to the end exam uh, for the self paced assessment uh, uh, here they are considering 50% of the marks out of 100 okay so this is also out of 100 this study also is out of, out of 100 so here also for the uh, self paced certificates too they are providing only a e certificate they are not providing any hard copy so this is a ratio so one side i am saying for the four weeks course uh, they are considering best of 3 and for the eight weeks best of 6 and for the 12 weeks they are considering best of 9 okay and you need to get a 50% in the assignment another 50% in the end exam then only you will be getting qualified and you will be getting the certificate so coming to the next one now we have uh, seen about the enrollments for the enrollments for each week uh, i mean uh, for uh, related to the weeks that is if uh, it is a four weeks then you are paying 1000 uh, rupees in order to get uh, enrolled for that particular course if it is a eight week you are paying 2000 rupees if it is a uh, 12 week uh, you are paying 3000 rupees okay so along with the enrollment you need to pay the registration fee that is exam fee also so here the exam fee is a default it is 1500 plus gst uh, for example i can say like a overall fee what is the overall fee you would be paying approximately i am saying see if for, for the four weeks course for the enrollment you are paying 1000 rupees and uh, for the exam you are paying 1500 uh, plus including the gst for the both which is equal to the 3000 rupees approximately you are paying in order to complete that particular subject or course 
so if it is a 8 weeks course uh, for the enrollment you are uh, paying 2000 rupees including gst uh, sorry uh, plus gst and also for the exam you are paying 1500 plus gst so totally you are paying approximately 4000 rupees so coming to the next 12 weeks course for the 12 weeks course in order to have the enrollment you are paying 3000 rupees plus gst and uh, for exam you are paying 1500 plus gst so approximately you are paying 5000 rupees in order to complete the 12 weeks course okay uh so coming to here and uh, when compared to the nptel if you are comparing this one with the nptel you will be paying the 1000 rupees in order to write the exam there is no enrollment fee uh, but the only problem is you need to wait for 12 weeks um, and after writing the exam also you need to wait for some time then only they will be issuing the result and certificate in the normal nptel whereas coming to this one if you are paying more amount means uh, for the enrollment and uh, exam fee then they are issuing the certificate as soon as you completed the uh, end exam so you can take the end exam from your home too for the self paced assessment okay so coming to the next one is results and certification as we discussed before here um, uh, the result will be uh, given as soon as you completed the course and uh, a certificate also will be issuing uh, within some minutes okay so coming to the template of the certificate as you can see here you get you are having some nptel uh, logo uh, and you are have you will be getting your uh, uh, photo and uh, in, uh, your name next to what you in what course you have completed this um, uh, this uh, particular certi uh, course uh, in what uh, subject you have done they will be mentioning your course name uh, next uh, your date um, if, on which time you have completed this course date uh, month and year they will be mentioning and who is offering this course is iit madras so you will be they will be mentioning this also so this is a sample certificate for the self paced uh, self paced learning hope this video might be useful for everyone if you like my video please give me your like symbol and share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates keep watching keep learning see you in the next video